Bon dia. Good morning. <laughs> Here down in Sagrish again today, as you can see. Sun hasn't quite come up over the horizon. I'm here putting water in the pond. Another 300 litres of water. Every few days, every three days, this needs at least 300 litres. Otherwise, it's not going to be good enough. Uh, someone had obviously been in here as well in the last few days. They'd left the gate opened. Something's got in underneath it because they hadn't put it back properly. And it had broken the fence trying to get out. So I have no idea who it was, but uh, obviously someone's tried to do this and hasn't done it properly when they've come in and opened the gate. Why they've done it, I have no idea. But never mind, at least the pond wasn't damaged. So we'll see what happens. The first thing to arrive at the pond is the, the linnets, as always. <laughs> They're back to their normal, not like last time. Looks like we're going to have a day with the finches today again. All come down straight away as soon as I've closed the hide for a drink with the fresh water. Beautiful, lovely to see. Now the little curl bunting has come down for its normal morning bath. Lovely. It's so nice to see. Another one of the finches here. It's beautiful. Before the sun hits the pond, the curl bunting normally always comes down. So. Oh wow. Um, we have an Ortolan bunting here. Uh, it's the first one of the year. It's not a very colourful one, but uh, it's either a juvenile or maybe even a female, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Normally the males are much brighter yellow colour. But you can tell it's an Ortolan by the beautiful ring around the eye. It almost looks like it's been painted. Lovely, lovely bird. One of my favourite buntings, next to the, the little bunting, this is one of my favourite buntings. Lovely little white throats just come in here now. Up on one of the higher sticks on the pond. It's been around a few times, but it's the first time I've managed to get it on the, uh, on the film. Lovely little bird. There's quite a few of them around this morning. Ah, the little wren has just shown up. Beautiful. Look at it, he's such a beautiful little bird, this. Never keeps still for a second. It's like a little ball of dynamite, this little bird. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Just gone down behind the reeds for a drink. Should pop up again in a second. Where's he gone? You can see his tail flitting around there in the... Normally always goes down there for a drink. You can see all the water just flicking up. That means he's having a bath down there. Look, you can see the splashes. Oh, there he comes. Here we go. He's had his bath. Now he'll probably go back again. They just, they just do not keep still. It's incredible. Beautiful bird duck. Got a willow warbler here, jumping around on the top stick. One of the, there are quite a few of them around at the moment. Oh, he's come and landed right next to me here. Literally less than three meters away. Lovely. Well, I, it's very difficult to see, but there is a golden oriole in the tree over here. I could hear some crossbill just now. I could hear some crossbill, so I thought I would try and you can hear the crossbill in the background. And 
I pointed the camera over at the tree and there's a golden oriole sitting up there. Beautiful. And we have a corn bunting sitting here again about two and a half metres away from me. Beautiful. Got a lovely little stone chat singing away up here. You'll hear him in a second. There we go. Chirping away to one of the females that's down below. Mm. Lovely. Ah, northern stone chat just come in. Beautiful, look at this. Completely different to the stone chats we have here. The northern wind chat, sorry. Beautiful bird. Lovely white marking above the eye. Completely different to the stone chats, but uh, very similar size, similar, same family, but what a lovely bird. Just purely a migratory bird that passes through here. And we have a starling that's come along here. Obviously very hot, with his beak open a lot. He's looking down at the water. He'll probably come down for a drink in a minute. Looks like a young one. It's still got a bit of a dappling on the chest. Beautiful bird though, wonderful sheen these birds have on their feathers. Absolutely beautiful. Now oh, we have a little pied flycatcher just come in here. There we go. Lovely little bird, the pied flycatcher. I prefer the, um, I think the other one, the, the grey one is more beautiful, but the pied one is a lovely little bird, as you can see. Hopefully we'll get the, the other flycatcher come in and you'll be able to see the difference, the one with the dappled chest. Okay, that's it for today. Um, We've already just opened up the hides. There's Louisa here on the side. She's just about to leave. <laughs> there we go. She, if she doesn't fall, trying to get out, the, out from inside. <laughs> She's been down here for the day with me. It's been a wonderful day where we've had a couple of new species for Louisa as the Emberiza, um, the Autoland bunting, and a few other birds like that, which she hadn't seen before, which is a wonderful. It's always lovely getting a new species for someone. Um, as you saw, the Autoland buntings are beautiful. Uh, other than that, it's been oh, it's been a lovely day. Quite a few of the migratory birds coming through as always. And I think it's going to be carrying on now for the next two or three weeks. So if you've enjoyed the video, obviously remember to give it a thumbs up. And uh, please subscribe to the channel so you'll catch any further updates coming through. Have a wonderful day, everybody.